Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I am just getting ready to start driving my van on down south and get out there and take care of, uh, you know, my travel season as it were. And of course, every time before I get ready to go, I want to do backups. So today I want to talk a little bit about doing backups. Woo, I got backup drives all over the place. In fact, I have a lot of them here. And one of the ways that I take care of all of my backups is I want to make sure that I have all my business files and all my personal files and I have them in a couple different places. So let's talk number one, computers. I think I actually have a few too many computers. Uh, I'm thinking about how I can uh, phase some of this down, at least throw some into a state where we are not using them as much for everything or have a system in place to make sure that I don't have files going all over the place. You know, I used to do this when I was back with a Windows. Normally I had one laptop, I had one desktop. The desktop was the central place where everything went and everything else, it was just like, uh, whatever happened on a laptop, it would get onto the desktop within a couple of days of returning and I only used that when I was on the road definitely a better strategy. Whereas now I have a NAS, I have servers online, I have servers locally, I have a couple different computers doing a couple of different things, and it just kind of creates a little bit of chaos. But I think the first step is clarifying your life a little bit. And that really is something that I'm going to work on doing into the next year coming into it. Ah, oh, look, there's a cat. Um, but with that, uh, what I want to mention here is how we actually do backups. First and foremost, I like manual backups over automated. The problem I had with automated, I used to do automated backups, and then I found after a data loss, I actually found that some of those backups did not actually take. And then I lost some things. Now, this is going back a couple decades ago. I've gotten over it. However, that being said, um, I kind of switched to manual if I had verified the backups after doing automated backups, it would not have been a problem. However, I do like the manual backup process, especially since I have so many different computers going in so many different directions. So what I actually do and recommend, I don't personally use cloud storage systems. Um, there's places for those. You do want offsite backups. And if cloud storage is your own way to do that, go ahead and use that. But you want to encrypt your files locally and then put them onto your cloud backup in a way that is not accessible as files on that server. In other words, don't use um, Microsoft's OneDrive or Google's Drive or Apple's system because they have access to all of your files if you do that. You wanna back everything up in encrypted blobs, upload those encrypted blobs uh, to whatever service it is, whether it's Dropbox, Lord help you, or you could use the Microsoft or the Googles or the Apples manually if you do things like that. It's probably better if you just have a general purpose cloud storage server, like uh, set one up on like Linode or DigitalOcean. We have an affiliate link for DigitalOcean now down below, uh, tlm.li forward slash doh. And you can set up a next cloud or some other, you can just set up some basic server and just SSH and dump files onto it. Uh, that would work too. Anytime you are not on site, you want to have them encrypted. Even on site, I keep almost all my backups encrypted. The only ones I do not keep encrypted is the archive of videos from the YouTube channel because they're all public anyway. I don't care. Those are not encrypted. Everything else I'm doing from my NAS, which is on one of these switches here is my NAS. Uh, to the files I have on site and off site locations, those are all encrypted. Now, we mentioned on site, off site. I keep for my personal important files, I think I have five copies of those floating around. They are on one computer dedicated to the backup itself. They are on two separate hard drive or two separate flash drives that are easy and portable to use. They are on a full separate hard drive 
that is a, an equivalent to that and they are on a separate sep, uh, separated hard drive. Now I keep one of those with me and I keep another one of those off site. So if the main system is corrupted, I still have access to the files, but I keep the off site. So if something happens catastrophic here, I don't lose everything. I actually have an off site system. And that's actually what I have this safe down here for. Uh, there's this safe that I have picked up. It's a Sentry safe and inside of this I just keep a variety of different hard drives uh, and they all have different things. I actually just use sticky labels to label which one it is and I have a password file with all my salts and then I take this safe when I'm done doing my backups and I just throw it in my friend's basement. That's a good thing to do. Now if you got a good friend across town you can do a monthly or a weekly, however frequently you feel comfortable doing your backups, you can go ahead and do that, leave that file over there. You can use a safety deposit box, anything that is offsite from where you are in the event of a catastrophic situation like a fire. Like, you know, I'm driving around the country in this van. If we end up going down a cliff in a fireball and I somehow survive the fireball, um, then I will not have lost all of the data. Now, I, of course, I'm only here um, roughly in the summertime. So I generally have a backup. I'll take a backup when I first return back here. So I have one for all of the travels and then I do another one before I leave again. So I have a backup up to the trials uh, between the travels. So what ends up happening is my backup strategy gives me uh, a backup up to at most six months ago. So if an event of a major catastrophic loss, I will have only lost six months of files, which means all the old historical stuff we still have, everything that is important up to that last bit of time, we still have that. And most of the things that happen within six months, you usually can get a lot of that kind of stuff back. So how do I do things? Well, I take these individual hard drives and I usually use these uh, easy stores or compatible ones. They're hard drives. They're a little bit slower than your SSDs, but hard drives are better for backups. They tend to have a little bit longer life. They tend to show you signs if they're about to fail. And with SSDs, if you do not run power through them every once in a while, the data will corrupt faster than on a hard drive. So I take these hard drives and I encrypt them in whatever system I'm using. You could use a VeraCrypt, or in my case, I use Lux encryption because everything we do is Linux. So I just set them all up with Lux encryption. And then uh, I will put all the files on of all of these guys. And then of course, I will wrap them all in aluminum foil to prevent any you know static impact, anything like that. So all of the files, uh, they're dedicated. I have one specifically for personal backups, one specifically for business backups, one specifically for a video archive backup. So all of the videos we have on the YouTube channels, those are all, I have copies of all of those videos going back from the very first videos that I've done. So, you know, there's never really a, a major loss of losing a lot of data in that respect. So that's what I'd recommend you guys do for backups. You don't have to be a crazy dude driving around the country in a van to know the importance of backing up your systems. Have a time in place to do that. Usually I'll do my local backups here uh, once a month. So I'll have those backups on all the individual drives. And then when I make it back into the home base area that every six months, those local backups get translated onto uh, the longer term backups all in offsite situations. Again, keeping everything encrypted is really good. That way, if there's a home robbery there, there's a van robbery here, you know, all of that very important data is not falling into the hands of people who um, uh, who might exploit that data in, in wrong ways. And ultimately, you want to make sure that you are doing multiple copies of data. I mean, what if one of these drives just happens to go bad all of a sudden? This is why I have multiple copies, multiple copies of the video, multiple copies of the personal files, multiple copies of the business files. And additionally, of course, I have them all on the individual computers as well. So, that is our message. A, have a good backup strategy. B, have a time, a scheduled time you're doing your backups so that C, you can be sure that 
you have all of your data and you're not losing anything in this world, which is becoming more and more progressively data focused. This also allows you to do things like keeping digital copies of your data instead of keeping reams and stacks of paper around way better for uh, just your, your general life of not having stacks of crap everywhere. Digitalize those files. You can pick up cheap scanners. You can convert your bank accounts to do online stuff, which I generally have not necessarily recommended in the past, but as long as you are doing a very diligent goal once a month, grabbing all those records, scanning them over, it's okay to do that. And then of course, there's never a case of, well, I want to see the paper documents. I never had paper documents. These are the digital ones we had, you know? So this is, uh, fortunately, our world is becoming more understanding of electronic copies of things. I don't have to produce a physical copy or receipt as long as I can get a good scan of one. So there are our tips today. Let us know your own backup tips down below, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.